Well, visually, I'm glad you told me what it was because I couldn't figure it out just by looking at it. Now, did you all start your day with a proper breakfast? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Chef, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, granola bar and uh, protein drink. Mm, interesting. Danny? Yogurt and banana. Jackie, what was yours? Two cigarettes. <laughs> wow, jeez. Oh my god, I need a cigarette. Oh my god. Well, many fine restaurants across the country have taken the ordinary breakfast and made it extraordinary. Today, I want you all to get creative with breakfast. Now, listen carefully. I want from each team four dishes. Vegetarian, meat, seafood, and then sweet. Got it? Yes, Chef. Red team, since you have five individuals in your team, two of you will double up on one of the categories. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Spend a minute together now, because I'm going to let you decide who's doing which. Off you go. I can definitely do seafood. I have amazing short mousse, crab cake. Uh, then I'll do meat. You okay. do veg. Something sweet. You have a sweet one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right? I'll take fish. Meat. Meat. I'm really good with sweets. I have a sweet tooth. What can I say? I'm sweet. I would do vegetables. Okay, time out. I'll double with chill. Good. You've all got 30 minutes, and your time starts now. Go, 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 go. I'm doing uh, steak and eggs. What else is going with your steak and eggs? Wild mushroom and blistered tomatoes. Seafood, I'm going to do some fish tacos, I think, with like a fried quail egg. I'm going to make a uh, sausage, some sauteed kale, and an over easy egg. I was thinking about like a crepe. What do you guys think about that? I don't know if I want to do a crepe. Maybe I should just do an omelet. If you feel more comfortable with that, then, then I would do that. I have radishes. That's it. Well, let's go, blue team. Make sure you get creative. Amanda, do you know what you're doing yet? I'm going to do a stuffed French toast with uh, some berry compote. Mm-hmm. I need somebody to come taste this bread for me. I got you. I got you. Amanda's cooking a sweet dish that she can't taste because she's gluten-free. This is bad. This is fucking bad. Taste that. I, I want like the sweetest this one. This is I know it's hollow, but I this isn't gonna work no, for me. Don't use that one. Trust me, I'm Jewish and that's the best bread ever made, ever. Hello! Ten minutes gone. Turn. Erin, what are you doing? Sweet potato hash chef. And I'm gonna do little poached quail eggs on top of the frisee. Look, they're in a nest. Jackie, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna do an omelet, chef. Uh, an omelet? Just an omelet. Okay, maybe an omelet's not good. Jackie, just do this. Vegetarian eggs benedict. Yeah. Just under 15 minutes to go. Halfway. Oh, God. I'm just starting my Benedict. Fuck, man. Because I changed my dish two times already. My egg is not going well in here. Frank, you feeling all right? I'm feeling motivated, baby. Frank's beefcake and only cooks beef. All right, I got to cut this now. Meat with breakfast goes with everything. Even if you're having cereal, you have meat and cereal on the side. You can't go wrong. Hot, 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 hot. Just under three minutes to go. You guys, if you're frying eggs, you got to do it now. Three minutes, you need to wrap it up, and you need to be getting on the plate now. Let's go. All right, Chef. Fuck. My eggs, I flip them, and they just go. Guys, I can't use my eggs for this. Figure it out. They fucking broke. I can't do it. Last two minutes. Oh, fuck me. Like, this is horrible. Jared, you all right? Oh, fuck me. Amanda, can you help? Um, one second, I can. What do you need? I have no idea what I'm going to do. Let's go, guys. My eggs, I can't use them. So I fucking just throw them away, just drop my bean mixture on there. It's not the prettiest dish in the whole world, but I know it tastes good. 15 seconds to go. Ah, fuck. Plating, plating. Chris, I asked my spot. Oh, yours? Five, four, three, two, one, and serve, guys. Great. Red team, you've got one dish to drop. One of the vegetarians, let's go. Have a meeting. What do you think? What do you think? This is very creative. Yeah, your presentation looks good. Thank you. I cook for a lot of vegetarians. I think they'd like the variety I have on my plate. Ariel's looks awful. I mean, it looks like something you get out of the bottom of a dumpster. I choose Jackie's. I choose Jackie's. What? Jackie's dish. Wow. Take yours down, please, Eric. All of you step around to the front. That shit just really baffles me. She's going to be in charity. Listen very carefully. Joining me to judge today's challenge, two unique chefs that have taken the first meal of the day and made it the most anticipated meal of the day. Please welcome the executive chef and owner of MP Post, Chef David Lefebvre, and executive chef 
and owner of Jar, Chef Suzanne Tracht. I'm nervous as hell serving a Mexican dish in Southern California. Uh, welcome. Uh, David, how are you, sir? Great, great. Good, good to see you, please. And on top of that, the two of the best breakfast chefs in the country. You ready? I'm ready. Ready to go, hungry. To hungry. Excellent. Right, let's start off with the battle of the sweet breakfast dishes. Let's go. In today's Elevated Breakfast Challenge, the judges will taste each dish and score it on a scale of one to three stars. The team with the most stars overall will win the challenge. Ashley, why don't you describe your dish first, please? I have for you a French toast bread pudding, a bourbon cinnamon whipped cream. Uh, David, visually, how does that look? You can tell it's crunchy and gooey, and all you want to do is just dig into it, mix it up, and, and take it in, so. Nice. Wow. wow. Really good. Mm. Ready to Very vote? Good. No, yes. Pretty good indeed. Thank you. High in calorie and high in scores. Uh, great job. Well done. Uh, Amanda, describe your dish, please. Today, I made you a nice big portion of a stuffed French toast. And on the plate, we have a mixed berry coulis. It, it seemed a little bit raw inside, mm. not cooked all the way. Yeah. Very good point. Ready to score? Hey, Danny. Come on, Chad. Up next is the battle of the seafood breakfast dish. Danny presenting a crab cake topped with poached egg. It's a little bit overcooked, so you want that poached egg really nice and runny. Ready to scope? Please. Wow. Uh, Chad. Chad has prepared scallop ceviche tacos topped with avocado mousse and fried quail egg. For me, the texture of the ceviche and then the egg, there's really not too much contrast. OK. It doesn't deliver that sort of wow factor. Time to score. Come on, Chad. Like, what the fuck? Disappointing. Maybe it's not enough sleep, not enough little bing bang. I have no idea what it is. Uh, one of my favorites, meat. Let's go. With the red team leading by four, Kristen and Frank are next to present. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Frank. Kristen has prepared grits with maple and brown sugar sausage topped with a sunny side up egg. Um, everything's in the right place. I quite like the um, sweet sausage against the grits. Yeah, I do. I love the sweet huh? sausage. The, the grits are, are soft, the egg is soft, the sausage has a little bit of bite. Interesting. Time to go. Thank you. Good job. Up next is Frank with his filet mignon on a toasted croissant. It's good. You know, it's very good. I think that the steak's cooked properly. There's crunch on the croissant while still having the layering, the butteriness of it. And the eggs. I, the eggs are cooked just yeah. the way I like them. Yeah, exactly. Chefs, time to vote. Eight out of nine. I'm fucking working here. This is magic. You see, this is magic. I'm working here. OK, uh, final gourmet breakfast. It's down to the veggie. Let's go. Jackie and Gerard, please. We're all giving Jackie the benefit of the doubt, so I'm trusting you're not to fuck this up. Jackie, please, explain. Um, today I have a, a vegetarian eggs benedict. A hollandaise, uh, sauteed mushrooms, poached egg, and a little bit of decal. Well, visually, I'm glad you told me what it was because I couldn't figure it out just by looking at it. Um, it looks pretty. David, how's that for you? All the ingredients are there, but if the seasoning was correct and it was played a little bit differently, that could be a, a great dish, but the execution wasn't there. It's a great shame because it's bland. It looks the part, but it doesn't deliver in taste or flavor. When I should have pictures. I completely I'm fucked off right now. Let's go. Cool. What a shame. Literally wanted to fucking smack all of them in the face. Gerard, please explain your dish to the chefs. I have a Mexican tostada with black bean, salsa, tomatillo sauce, and a tomato salad on top. When I look at food, we refer to it as being tight. You know, you want it to be, you want to be able to see all the different ingredients. It's a little bit loose. Actually, nice flavor. Oh, wow. Tough on this one. At Blue Team, you need seven to tie and eight to win. Chefs, time to vote. Really good indeed. That is a win for the blue team. 
all of you join me in thanking these two incredible chefs. Thank you so much. Thank Good you. to see you. I can't wait to see you, Joe. Take care. Thank, Good you. To see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Thank you very much.